on SG1, your humble host, back for a Transformers transformation review thingy. Yes, we miss you, Ray. We should come back. Um, so, let us turn up the heat and let us take a look at 1988's Decepticon Firecons. We have, starting with Sparkstalker, whose job is cryptologist, of all things. The smallest detail reveal the largest secrets. His greatest talents are revealed in the tiniest structures. An expert in robbing memory banks, counterfeiting printed circuits, decoding binary messages, meticulous, cautious, obsessed with a minute detail. Decepticons appreciate his appearance more than his, his other talents because he terrifies all of us. Shoot flame, shoots flame from his mouth with limited accuracy, better equipped at land, land, up to light campfires than Mel Autobots. And there he is, that's Backstalker. Next we have Flamefeather, whose job is just simply a warrior. Um, the only good Autobot is a deactivated Autobot. I'm sure I've heard that one before. Uh, the only Decepticon ever thrown out of the Decepticon Military Academy for being too violent. Thrashes, trashes entire car lots when there's nothing better to do. Usually works alone because of his fellow Decepticons refuse to work with him. Flame feather inside his mouth can fry a small... F uh, flame f flame thrower inside his mouth can fry a small football field. Maximum flight speed of 90 miles per hour. So you can't fly very far, very fast. And 90 miles per hour is pretty fast, but compared to like thrust or something. Uh, greatest achievement, talking to somebody for more than a minute without before flying into a rage. <laughs> so he's wax retail then. <laughs> and there he is. So last on the list, Cindersaw. Uh, who's pretty cool. I like Cindersaw. Um, and his function is Firestorm Trooper. That's a bit specialist, isn't it? Um, yeah, so there he is. Um, crash and burn and burn and burn. Incinerates everything in his path so he can find his way home. Leaves a trail of charred ground wherever he goes. Wherever he goes, Probably f fried some of his brain circuits from excessive smoke inhalation. Enjoys taking flame baths to soothe his aching joints. Not sure how that works. Uh, equipped with fusion-powered flame breath that can be focused to a narrow stream or sprayed into a wide angle. His hobbies include barbecuing Autobots and drinking volcanic lava. Because why not? So, join me, Shan Chu, for a closer look at these guys. In three, two, one. And here we have the Firecons in all of their lovely Generation 1 goodness. Um, yes, so we have Sparkstalker, Flamefeather, and Cindersaw. We'll take a look at Cindersaw first. Um, and as you can see, he is very dusty, very beat up. I mean, I've had this guy 30 odd years, he's missing bits there. Um, but we'll take a look at him there. He's got some nice molded detail, most, a nice um, sort of dinosaur y type um, tail there. You've got molded robot legs, we'll get into them in a minute. You've got nice molded, um, I think, uh, scales, I'm guessing, on his feet there. And as you can see, in that square should have been a rub symbol, but they stopped doing them at this point. I think 80, what are we on now? I think 88, I think, when these came out. Um, so you've got some nice uh, moulded detail in there. You've got some nice, a little bit of moulded detail on his stomach there. Some nice moulded detail on his arm, although his arms can look like a monster munch. Ask you, if you, those of you who don't, know, don't live in the UK, we have a brand of um, sort of maize snacks, maize crisps, Called Monster Munch, they kind of look like this. <laughs> uh, got some nice detail on his face. Um, very sort of dinosaur y, very dragon y. Um, yeah, you can see he's very dusty, very, very dusty. And yes, a um, bit rusted screws in his nose there. Um, yes, I the, this was the only one I had um, as a kid. Um, I got him recently at TF Nation, and I got this one. Um, uh, during the during the lockdown for like I think he was about five pound back in eighty eight. He was three cut off toy food and this guy was like six pounds shipped. So it's not too bad. So yeah, so in terms of articulation in dinosaur mode, I guess, because he's called Cindersaur. Let's call him dinosaur mode. Oh you've got some nice spines on his back there. Oh you can see invisible head syndrome. Um it's 
these feet can move up and down and these joints are still tight although they're tight when you get to there but then they loosen out there i think it's the screw and it's just it's tight because it's just a phillips head screw in there um same for the other side is is arms will do 360 but they're kind of hindered by his legs there his head will move up and down that's more for the gimmick unfortunately the gimmick doesn't work we'll give it a show just to show you to, to activate the gimmick you lift him up like that roll him along the floor and yeah this guy hasn't worked in 30 years <laughs> so yeah um but to transform him sort of straighten out his legs pull out his tail thus fold his head his monster arms away and fold out his robot arms to reveal what can only be described as robot mode just look at that robot mode <laughs> that is pathetic uh terms of articulation in this mode um that's your lot unfortunately you can move his legs but because the way they're designed they look a bit odd yeah that one's a lot tighter than that one and uh, let's have a look at his bumps he's got a nice um evil Decepticon looking face, but it's kind of like he's wearing a suit, you know, like an Iron Man suit almost, and his head's sticking out the hole there. You know, it is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah. And that's um, Cindersaur. We'll put you over there. We'll take a look at Flame Feather, and he's kind of like a. Um, it, do you know what? He's got kind of Gigan vibes. Um, yeah, from the Godzilla movie because these have got a very kaiju look to them, and this one's definitely um, Gigan. Um, so you've got some nice, um, let's zoom this in. Um, let's have just a quick look around. You've got some nice wings on there, so let's zoom this in. So we've got nice sort of feather, if you can zoom in there, so nice feathery detail on the tail there. So that's how big the Decepticon symbol should be. You've got some nice like chicken legs going on. Um, and then you've got some nice wings with some feather details. Yes, this one's very rusty as well. But for three quid, can't argue. A nice face. Needs touching up on the yellow there. Although the yellow on his eye is a little bit, you know, mispainted there. So that one's fine. And that one's a bit of a blodge. I think somebody may have given that a go at some stage over the years. Um... Yeah, you've got, you know, you can see where the separation line is. It's been chipped. It's been well used, this toy. Uh, well loved. Number four. Interesting. Um, so, does this one work? Does this gimmick work? It's the same articulation as uh, Cindersaur over there. It makes the noise, but no. Oh, destroying me fucking set here. There we no, he doesn't make the noise. He makes the noise, but the flint has been destroyed. Somewhere or the other. I wonder if there's a way to repair these. I'll have a look. I mean, it's fairly easy to disassemble. It's just some screws. You know, there we are. So transform it exactly the same way as Cinder. So you just straighten all these out a bit. Pull out the tail. Thus, yeah, you can tell this has been a bit faded. Look, you can tell the colour. That's what colour it should be. That's what colour it is. Yeah, you see under there. I don't, although I'm not quite fond of this particular tail. It's a bit weird. So we roll that up. Move them out the side like that. And there is f flame... F Oh, I can't even speak. Flame Feather in his robot mode. And, yeah, same problem as the Cindersaur. He's got, like, a face sticking out of a sea of white, and he's got this weird-shaped head, which is a bit weird. Um, yeah, I'm going to repair this one because he's falling apart a bit. But, yeah, pretty cool. And, again, no articulation in the robot mode apart from the legs. So we'll put you next to Cindersaur there, and we'll just straighten your legs out. There we go. And then we come on to um, Sparkstalker, and he is again sort of kaiju-y type monster. Um, this one's got wings. Cinderella's the only one without wings, and he's the only one they didn't reissue in G2. They did these two, but not him. Never understood why. Um, yes, yeah, so he's got a nice big sort of crustacean-y type head, I guess. Um, and then, you know, you got the big claws. Oh, these are more like Gigan's claws, but... You know, there we are. Stay. That's it. Um, but yeah, he's got some nice detail on there as well. We'll just zoom that in. Um, it's very, very sea monstery, which is pretty cool. Um, but he's got wings, you know, because, because why not? Um, yeah, a bit of Decepticon symbol in there as well. Um, but yeah, it's the exact same um, articulation as the other two. This one works. Are you ready for this, boys and girls? So you just rotate these out like that. 
Put him up like that, put his arm up like that. This one actually works. I've, I've seen many videos on these guys, and these never work. I was so surprised when I got this off eBay, and it, and it fucking works. Check this out, are you ready? So we just ram it, roll him up. Oh, no, didn't work. I guess it's not done like that. I'm just going to roll him up off camera. See, works. Whoa, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, fucking fire risk. And this is what they were selling to kids back in the 80s, you know, and the 90s. Let's try that again, shall we? It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's a pretty cool gimmick, actually, to be fair. Like, shooting spark. One more time. That's pretty cool, isn't it? No, you can stop that now. That is really fucking cool. I do like that. That's why the fire cons are it. But, um... I've seen loads of videos on these guys, and every time the, um, the 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 actual gimmick doesn't work. But when I, like I said, when I found out this this guy worked, oh, I was over the moon. Transform this guy exactly the same as the other two. You rotate his tail out, pull out his arms, and there he is. Um, zoom in on that face. I think he's got the best face of the three. I think. Again, this could do with a bit of a uh, a bit of a. Um, a bit of a clean, but yeah, you can see he's got it's almost like two halves been put together. So yeah, he needs he needs he needs repairs as well. But no, he's got some nice detail in his arms, but his arms are kind of hindered because of these wings. Um, but you know, no articulation. So yeah, um, very cool. I do love these guys. They are they get no love. Oh, I didn't realise that's got a massive stress fracture in that bit there. Jesus. Well, that's what you get from having a thirty year old tire, I guess. I think that might eventually break off so I have to be careful with him so yeah so they're the G1 fire cons all in their G1-y goodness um, should you get these guys yes you should you really fucking should because they are so stupid so ridiculous fantastic gimmick if one works like I say he, this, this one does I'm really surprised um, but yeah it, it's they're just fun little Transformers. They really are. They're fun little guys. Uh, I'd like to get the G2 uh, ones at some point. Just these two. Never released him as G2. Never. N don't know why. And they've never had a um, update either. I mean, they're easy to do. I mean, obviously, they're not going to come with a gimmick. But you could give them, um, you, know, um, you know, an effects part. So, but there you go. So, uh, if you like what I do, why not like, share, and subscribe? I have got three, uh, 711 subscribers at the moment. Um, that's brilliant. Please keep subscribing. Please like in the channel. Um, and if you're in a position to help me out, check out my um, my uh, Patreon, which should be up here. And check out my other Transformers reviews. They should be in a box down here. So, I will catch you all on the flip side. So, be kind to everyone. And try not to worry about stuff. And um, see you soon. Bye for now.